And hello to you on what is a perfect night. We're at the home of football, Wembley. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's England, and they take on Ukraine. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Number 22, Jude Bellinger. Number 20, Phil. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. John Stones plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Raheem Sterling plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. And the starting 11 for Ukraine. You. Well, they're starting in a very solid 4-5-1, but they transition really quickly, and key to that are the wide players. They'll support the centre forward as soon as they win the ball back, and they usually do it with a lot of quality. And this confrontation is underway. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Making progress. Disappointing that it's gone out of play. Stones. Phil Foden. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Birmingham! Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Really good interception. Promising move this from England. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Shaw. Harry Maguire now. Bellingham. Chance here. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front.
Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Gankov. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. No high quality defending. Well, no surprise there. England have enjoyed most of the possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Oh, that's right. And unusually, they don't have the ball on this occasion. Well, they couldn't keep it. It's looking promising. It's a good cross. Has to be. Oh, a superb save. And they have possession again. What can they do from here? Malinowski. High quality defending. Kane, chances on. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Well, mopping up defensively. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Well, how did that not go in? It was a great effort, you have to say. Well, a game of such fine margins, but let's see if they can create another opportunity. Henderson. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Alexander Zinchenko. Eduard Sobor. He has time to play it over. And up for grabs off the keeper. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. this to get themselves back into it and a goal he was composure personified and he's done his job from the spot well as you can see the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him it's a strange one in the end And the referee's whistle, we've reached the halfway point here at Wembley Stadium. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Henderson. Foden. And return to Henderson. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. And the post denied him. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, had that gone in, they would be in complete control of this game. As it is, they're still going to be a bit nervy. Yes, so near indeed. But now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. 
Henderson. And Kane saw his pass intercepted. And he's through here. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Short corner taken. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Declan Rice and Bellingham. Harry Kane. Tremendous ball played through. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then the perfect finish from Foden. Great technique. There's no stopping that. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three one it is. Yarmolenko. Nicely timed tackle. Declan Rice. Now Harry Kane. And Sterling has it. Foden. Will it be? Really classy goalkeeping. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Retaining possession proving difficult. Oh, a nice looking pass. He must finish. It's still alive. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Bellingham. Foden. And the danger cleared. And the attacking options appear plentiful. But timely defending when it mattered. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Defenders need to cover. Full credit, wonderful stop. So a personnel change then. Corner kick played in. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Now sending it in. Palmed away by the keeper. Not finished yet, not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Three, two, it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Number 22, Jude Bellingham. To be replaced by number 14, Calvin Phillips. Malinowski. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Nice and easy for the keeper. Phil Foden. 
and teammates around him. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Harry Kane, master finisher. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, but he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. So the current scoreline, 4-2. A bit of running room now on the wing. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Could pull one back here. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. Delivering it. And an effective clearance. Stepanenko. Now with Yarmolenko. Can he finish this? And it's in! into their advantage and this is not over not yet anyway well here it is again and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post but I think he should probably do better he'll be a little bit disappointed with that And the final whistle has sounded. England victorious, plenty of plus points. And Stuart, your analysis? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, as is so often the case, Phil Foden did his talking out there on the pitch. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.